hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox uh, the first thing that you need to do is actually um, get a copy of Windows 10 if you don't have your own you can always head over to uh, Microsoft and download um, a trial version of Windows 10 uh, just open the browser and uh, type Windows 10 uh, ISO download and uh, probably one of the first link it'll take you there uh, make sure you fill out the information it'll provide a link for you uh, which is valid for 24 hours download the link which is an ISO file I have already downloaded and so once you get that you're ready to install uh, to create the virtual machine uh, the virtual guest so the first thing after you open um, the VirtualBox Manager is to uh, click on New because we want to create a new virtual machine. And uh, here I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call mine Windows, uh, let's say 10. And I'm going to click Next. It is a 64-bit, the, the version, the, archite the architecture that I downloaded is a 64-bit, so I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to accept the defaults. I'm going to leave it uh, 2 gigabytes for RAM. Uh, I, it's advisable if you're going to use this for, um, uh, for work, meaning that you're going to use it for productivity or some other type of use, uh, make sure that you give it the right amount of memory however you can always go back and change this so I'm going to click next I am going to create a virtual hard drive so I'm going to click I'm going to click next and I'm going to leave it also as VDI next and I'm going to leave it as dynamically allocated you have if you have two options here either dynamically allocated or fixed size uh, I want to be dynamically allocated, so I don't want to um, allocate the whole size of the uh, of the virtual memory right now. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to also leave it as default 50 gigs. Make sure you have plenty of space. I'm going to create next. I'm going to click next. And now notice that the virtual guest has been created. So ne the next step is to click on settings. I want to edit the settings for that particular virtual box or virtual guest and I'm going to click on storage next I'm going to click on empty here where it says optical drive I want to select the ISO image that I download so it is down here because I've already used it but if not you can always uh, browse for it choose virtual optical disk drive in the, this is the ISO image click open and notice that it's here right now and I want to check this live CD DVD so I'm able to boot off the ISO image I'm going to click OK and now I'm ready to start uh, the virtual guest now the installation of Windows 10 in VirtualBox is pretty straightforward uh, just like you will install uh, Windows 10 in your Android machine. Okay, the first dialog box that we get is the um, language, the language that you want to install, and uh, the time, currency, keyboard. So I'm going to leave it default and then I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to click install now. And at this point, uh, the installation is actually copying the content from the ISO uh, disk to the hard drive to proceed the installation in the second part uh, of installing Windows 10. So I'm going to pause for a second now. Okay, so this section. Um, it's asking you to enter the product key, uh, which we don't have. If you have one, go ahead and enter it now. Uh, but I'm going to select, I don't have a product key. Then uh, we want to 
choose the version of Windows 10 that we want to install. I want to install Windows 10 Pro, so I'm going to select that one and I'm going to click Next. Here, I will accept the license terms, otherwise it will not let you move forward, and then I'm going to click Next. In this section, uh, we have two options. Uh, we can either choose the first option, which is for upgrading your uh, current version of Windows, meaning that you already have a, a working Windows installation and you want to install uh, on top of that installation and you want to migrate all the settings, this is the, um, the option, that, the path that you will take. Otherwise, if you're doing a clean install, you would select the uh, option at the bottom. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to accept the whole um, size of the hard drive as my installation uh, partition. Otherwise, you can um, you can modify, create, and uh, modify the installation here. So I'm going to click Next. And at this point, um, Windows is copying and installing uh, the operating system. So I'm going to pause and uh, I will be right back. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to accept the, uh, the region settings. So I'm going to say yes for the default. I am going to accept yes for the keyboard layout. I'm going to skip. Is to choose whether your computer will be part of the home network or a bigger network like an organization. So I'm going to leave it as default and I'm going to click next. Here I'm going to enter my Microsoft sign in username and password. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Successfully authenticate with Microsoft uh, with your username and password. The next step is to create a PIN. And I'm going to, uh, a PIN is basically a secure sign-in um, into your computer, usually in the form of uh, numbers. So I'm going to click Create PIN. And I'm going to choose my PIN. I'm going to choose something simple. And uh, notice that I don't check include letters and symbols. My pin is just numbers. I'm going to click OK. And, uh, the setup wizard is asking us to link our phone number with uh, with the PC. So I'm going. To, I have the option here to do it later. So I'm going to skip it and move forward in the setup. This section is to set up uh, backup to OneDrive. So again, I'm going to only save to this uh, PC. I'm going to click on this link. And finally, we have to uh, set up Cortana. I'm not going to set up Cortana, so I'm going to click No. next section is to choose our privacy settings and so because this is a virtual machine I'm not going to turn on uh, location or spe speech recognition or find my device I want to turn as much as services I, as I can um, keep in mind that this is a virtual machine and um, I don't have enough memory allocated to the virtual machine or hard drive, so I want to be my machine to be as uh, as bare bones as possible. So I'm going to click accept. And that's it. Uh, this is as far as we go for the installation of Windows 10 in VirtualBox.
uh, one thing that you might want to do is to install guest addition into your VirtualBox uh, operating system. It'll make it work a lot more uh, smoother and uh, will optimize the performance of the operating system. Okay, so thanks for watching.